This is Todd V. And Dave Cattlewell. And here's another episode of Art Quest. On today's show, we've got a really broad spectrum of things. First, we're going to check out Akron Glassworks. Then, we go to Krista Solars. If she's not the most beautiful musician on a violin or fiddle you've ever heard, then I'll eat my hat. <laughs> Oh, come on, people. Let's write in. Because even though she's awesome, let's have Meet the Hat. <laughs> After that, we're going to go check out the Akron Civic Theater. It's, a, it's an icon in the area, and what a beautiful theater to go see. But not only are we going to check out the theater, we get into the bowel, the belly of the beast. We're going to see some of the cool secret compartments there. So let's check out the Akron Glassworks and get on with the show. Hi, this is Erin Ludlam with ArtsQuest, and today we are here with Jack Baker, who is one of the founders of Akron Glassworks. It's a really cool, not only a glass studio, which is awesome enough in itself, but it's also, there's a retail line, and you not only represent yourself, but other artists, and there's a lot of really great stuff, so we're going to have Jack take us through and show us what's going on, and um, hopefully at the end we'll get to have a demonstration of some hot glass. What do you think? I think that sounds great. Glad right. you're here. Awesome. We're glad yeah. to be here. Let's go. Okay. So here we are in the actual glass studio gift shop, right? That's exactly. where we're at. Yeah. So explain to me a little bit about what, um, it's all hand-blown that's in here. What do you... All the, uh, much of the glass that you see in here is hand-blown. Mm -hmm. And all the hand-blown glass is made from five different artisans okay. that work out of our space. Okay, so everybody all, that's represented here is, is from here, works right out of here. Everybody that works on the hand-blown oh. glass, we make it here in the back. Very here cool. in Akron, Ohio. Very cool. So let's, right. let's look at a little bit of what we got going on. There's some really, um, really interesting pieces. I mean, everything from, you know, your standard ornaments to giant art pieces. Explain that one to me back then. That is beautiful. Well, some of the work that we get into uh, is, uh, is bigger that can be used in uh, very nice residences. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's more art-oriented than much of the utilitary-type glass uh, that we can make. Um, everything that we make is individual. It's not like we're into any type of production. Uh, so every piece we make is different and unique unto itself. John Boyette, he is the other founder. John's correct? the other founder, right? And John went to college for blowing glass. <laughs> and he's been blowing glass for over 10 years now, probably closer to 15. Wow. So John is, uh, uh, I guess, our most expedient, talented glass blower that we have here. And he makes us all look very good. Over here on this shelf, over here, we've got on the top shelf, these are pumpkins made by John Boyette. I have pumpkins made across the, uh, the room, and everybody's pumpkins are a little bit unique uh, unto themselves. They're all kind of the same, but they're all different. You mentioned your pumpkins. Okay. Um, much of my glass is over here. These are uh, some of my glass vessels. And we've got some pumpkins in here. Uh, Getting close to Halloween, pumpkins are a real hot little item for people to come in and buy novelty gifts for friends and that type of thing. Uh, one of the things that I can really emphasize on that our glass is very reasonably priced, uh, and it's priced very reasonably so people can come in and buy it. I was going to say that, yeah, these, I mean, it's a $15 paperweight. That's an awesome gift. Right. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's that way people thing. can it's come in, enjoy it, and take it home. Yeah, exactly. And they exactly. can come back and buy more. <laughs> that's and they do. right. It's all about that, isn't it? It's all about that. <laughs> you want that's them to get it in their home, right? All right. That's what keeps and our doors open. Speaking of which, the other thing that you do here, which I think is really exciting, because everybody wants to do it. The process of blowing glass is what's so fascinating. Mm -hmm. And you offer classes and workshops here, right? Right. We offer workshops. Uh, most of our workshops are offered for the months of February through April. Mm -hmm. uh, we do it in the winter months because we're a little slower. We also do it in the winter months because it's a lot cooler in the hot shop. <laughs> uh, right now, today, uh, mid-October, it's almost 70 degrees outside. And in the sh hot shop, I'm sure it's over 100 degrees today. So as we get into the winter months, uh, it's a lot cooler, yeah, easier for the novice to come in and take the heat. Probably feels uh, really good. Today, we're having uh, an open house. And so as part of that open house, we're allowing people to come in and make their own pumpkin. And uh, it seems to be pretty popular today. We've had a lot of people in. And are most of the people that are coming in, or do they have any experience doing this? Is it a first time I'd kind of thing? I'd say we've probably had about 15 people in so far today, and maybe two 
have had a glass pipe in their uh, hands before. So everybody <laughs> else is new, and so you stay real close to them, and because uh, they're all a little yeah, nervous. I was going to say, no EMT has been called <laughs> no. thus far. So okay, successful. That's right. Awesome. <laughs> but they have a great time, and they really uh, they get real excited when they come back and see what they've made. Oh, it's really fun. I mean, uh, there's a certain element of uh, scariness to it, you know? They get a little concerned because uh, of the fire. Heat. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I mean, that, that oven over there is 2,000 degrees plus. So, you know, the glass is about 1,400 degrees when you're holding it there and you're this far away from it. The first thing we're going to do is uh, take our initial gather out of the furnace. Uh, and we'll go in, gather a piece of glass. Uh, as you can see, it's very hot, very molten, very liquid. Then we will marver this piece on the uh, marver table, and at that point I'll blow in the initial bubble. As you can see as I'm putting some, forcing some air, the bubble's just starting to come out. Now we've got the bubble formed, we're going to let the piece seize up, get a little colder, and then we'll get ready to go in for our second gather. And now that the piece is cooled off, we can go back in, get a second gather out of the furnace, and from the second gather, now I'm going to go over to the marver table and pick up my color frit. Color Frit is a multicolor of yellow, oranges, ambers, gives us a nice looking pumpkin. Um, so now I've gathered up this glass, so we're going to heat it up in the glory hole so that the Frit glass melts into the piece itself. So we're going to heat it up, come back, marver it on the table a couple times. Now it's heated in, we have our color on the piece, uh, and now we're, uh, we've expanded our bubble inside a little bit so our bubble isn't disappearing. We still have our bubble inside the piece so we can continue on. Now I will let this piece cool down. Now we're going to go in for the third and the last gather. The third and the last gather is a clear coat, what we call an overlay. Um, and so now I'll come back and shape this piece of this glass into a teardrop shape so that we can drop it into the optical mold and pick up the vertical ribs that we need uh, to simulate the ribs on a pumpkin. So I've blown it now into the ribs. We've got the shape. We're now going to heat it back up in the glory hole. Um, uh, we're heating it up in the glory hole and now we're going to start blowing it out. As we blow it out, we'll put the jack line in, which will be our severing point of where the pumpkin top will pop off when we're done. Uh, and we will also blow into it. Uh, as you can see, I'm using a blow hose. This allows me to keep both my hands on the piece of glass while I'm blowing air into it. Uh, it gets you a little bit uh, more utility out of the work that you're doing. Uh, now I'm going to push it back with a paddle so we get a nice uh, horizontally shaped pumpkin. Uh, we're going to uh, jack down the jack line so then we can go over to the bench, knock it off. Now I'm going to go get a couple other bits of glass and those bits of glass we're using tobacco and amber. That will be the stem of the pumpkin. We'll heat that up real quickly as somebody is fire polishing the piece while I'm away from it. Uh, then we'll put it into the optic mold again, come back over, put it on top of the pumpkin, do a little ornamental wrap to make it look like a real sort of ornamental stem. That's not how you see most pumpkins. Uh, and the piece is done and we're going to put it away. That's it. comfort food, but have you heard of comfort music? <laughs> <laughs> we have a very, very special musician with us. It's Krista Solarts, and she is a fiddle player. Tell me a little bit about your music. What kind of stuff do you play? I play, um, well, I study classical at Oberlin Conservatory. I'm a senior. My major is in violin performance, so technically, if you uh, want to know what I'm doing professionally, it's mm. classical violin, um, but on the side, I do fiddle as well. 